Hi, I'm Jared Dillingham in Rome, talking today about two great day trips you could take from this city. We're using the train system here in Italy to go to Orvieto and Assisi. Orvieto is a beautiful hilltop town in the Umbria region of Italy. The day trip starts in Rome's crowded Roma Termini station, where you should arrive a minimum 30 minutes before your scheduled train departure to give yourself enough time to buy your ticket, walk to your platform, and find a seat on the train. Now, these regional trains are not the fast bullet trains. It'll cost 8 to 25 euros, depending on when you go and what class you choose to sit in. Honestly, there's really no difference between first class and main class, aside from assigned seats in first. The trip to Orvieto from Rome is about an hour and 15 minutes. But your travels don't end at the train station in Orvieto. To get up to the hilltop, you'll board a funicular right across the street from the station. The cost is one and a half euros, and it's just a short, crowded ride up. The funicular drops you off at the start of a long cobblestone street that'll lead you right through the old city of Orvieto. It's pedestrian friendly and mostly closed to cars. Plan to spend a full day here checking out its cafes and restaurants, which have outdoor seating even during the winter months. And the stores are full of wines, olive oils, and ceramics. And yes, we were there around Christmas, so the whole city is decorated and very festive. A main draw is Orvieto's Cathedral, or Duomo, which was built over the course of three centuries, beginning in the late 1200s. The striped sides of the cathedral alternate between Italian white travertine and gray basalt. Aside from the Duomo, St. Patrick's Well is one of Orvieto's most famous landmarks. It was built in the 1500s, it is 175 feet deep, and you'll spiral down all 250 steps right to the bottom. It's 5 euros to enter, and a warning, this is a physical challenge. There is no elevator to bring you back up, and it's a slick walk up these ancient stone steps, but well worth it. One thing we missed is the underground and a tour of the labyrinth of caves and tunnels which run under the city. It was closed on our visit, so it's on the list for our next trip. As for when to visit, I think you'll have a great time no matter what time of year you visit, but maybe consider coming during the winter months when temperatures are still in the 50s or 60s during the day and the crowds are quite a bit smaller. 